what is up guys welcome back game run here with another episode of hitman it's not going to be three it's hitman one obviously you guys have been following the series anyway this is going to be the last uh, episode i mean last mission in this hitman series so let's go and check it out just to be you know uh, just you guys are updated i have played the final mission you know i went through a run because it was taking so much time each and every mission is actually take so much time so what i did i went ahead and i played so and i'll show you a very nice way of killing uh, you know the targets without any further ado let's hit this guys i'm going to leave the uh all the starting location and everything to be you know and normal this contract takes place in a high secure area so we won't be able to take anything maybe we can smuggle it but uh, that's fine obviously we gotta use this vip patient all right guys let's hit this Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gamma Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. All right, here we are. 47 is uh, chilling nice. In this night's uh, suit. As part of the service here at Gamma, your All right, as I told you guys earlier that I have played this through a little bit, so that you know I don't have to play a long time. Then uh, you guys, ca you guys might have to wait for a very long time, you know, to find out the clues and stuff. I hope you're enjoying your stay. So I'm going to keep it short and simple, and uh, just do what but, uh, I actually do. So what what are we looking here is we we are going to wait for this guy called uh, what was his name Portman or something uh, Jason Portman Good to see you looking good Forty-seven. I have intel. Shut up. Help. Wait. Yeah. Now he's going to follow me. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole my idea. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate. How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross. He's hot, right? Wow, this is super embarrassing. Oh uh, shit. At least we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> Shut up. We don't, right? I've, I've got connections. Uh, God damn it! This guy is stuck, actually. Excuse me. Hopefully, this guy doesn't see. Ah, whew, finally. There we go. We got his disguise. That was a rough start. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So now, we wait for the announcement. Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. I think uh, it should be that somewhere... Was Mr. Jason Portman. Yeah, there A he is. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect please timing. proceed to the hospital Follow entrance. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. So yeah, this guy is actually getting a plastic surgery Gentlemen, of, uh, you know, to Mr. look Portman uh, is with me. No need to bother young. him with unnecessary Hello, security sir. measures. Welcome. 
We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. JB. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. Where's the camera? So, facial surgery? Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. So this guy is the only, uh... Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I Come do have on. options Every available time I start here at talking, Gama, this lady is actually, but I imagine you know? it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. Yeah, lady, if you're done, just let me know. I, I have a dialogue to speak. <laughs> I hope you're holding up all right. I read the latest test results that Kai published on the internal network. You're in good shape, Mr. Portman. Yeah, Might just want shut to up. back on the sake, but hey, otherwise you're doing well. Heads, buddy. Should be able to go back home real soon. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Awesome. There we go. Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. Cool, cool. We can do this. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. Be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh my. It's... It's, it's astonishing. Not only are you the spitting image of Helmut Kruger that... The swelling has completely subsided, and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say you'd never undergone surgery. It's... it's perfect. It's simply perfect. It's, I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh... this is very emotional for me. Alright guys, this is going to be a little bit tricky over here, because uh, these two doctors are over here. And then these two bodyguards are over here. So we gotta time this right. This might take some, you know, tries. Wait for these two doctors to go inside. Just wait here. Just look at you, Mr. Portman. <sighs> My finest work. Wait for these guys. Just make sure that, uh we hide ourselves okay these guys have turned hopefully these guys don't see me quickly put it in and we are done Oof. this might uh, take some time to you know obviously you know to uh, work it around all right so once that is done Make sure there are enforcers over here so they might on, uh, easily spot you. So uh, there are a couple of things over here. If you're a doctor, you will be able to go inside this. So this is the defibrillation center or whatever it is. It's a bit hard to pronounce it. So even if you go and do something, the AI will actually you know fix it fixes it so to do to stop the AI from not fixing it you gotta you know do this you know uh, you know sabotage this stuff so before that you gotta need you know find a screwdriver I'll tell you where to find a screwdriver just right over here make sure uh, no one's close by 
There's the screwdriver. I think we... No, the rat poison is not here. We'll just go upstairs. Right with a lot of people. So the ether R and D team put a chip in his brain. Good evening, Doctor. Now I think uh, we might need to first go upstairs. They even took it one step further. I hope I am going to do it right because uh, we can't run back again. First sabotage this. So now, oh, okay, let me see, I, we could actually do this too, there's a camera, so make sure you don't get spot, warning, operations procedure overwritten, Warning. Hello, Doctor. No vital signs detected. Now? Citation procedure. Charging. There we go. Ready. We should be dead. Three. Two. One. Clear. I think, uh... Yeah. So what we gotta do is... Probably go down, disable the oxygen, uh, whatever it is, <laughs> the oxygen level. We gotta run back again up. Evening, Doc. Evening, evening, fellas. Just turn off the respirator. Warning. Life's so we gotta go quickly and turn off the defibrillator. I'm, I'm having a very hard time, you know, pronouncing that uh, word. Come on. Charging. Defibrillator. Yeah, now it charges. Ready. Three. Two. One. Clear. Hmm. Okay. How do I actually do that? Yeah, now it says lethal, right? Hopefully we get it right this time. It is lit little bit confusing. Have a great night, Doctor. Let me do that again. Wow, that was a deep, deep voice. Now I gotta go and do this probably. Defibrillator. Don't charge it. There you go. Yeah, as I said, we gotta time it right. First, overcharge it. First, sabotage, overcharge, then go. Disable the life support, and then when. The so AI starts to do that. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel about this one. <laughs> well, that's for another time. Yamazaki yeah. awaits. Yeah, now that is done. We go back. Let's just make sure no one's looking at us while we. There we go. Took some time, but uh, that's fine. This actually goes to the other place. That's the observation room. Okay, I think I can go from here. I think we'll probably take the stairs, right? I think we can go from the first floor. Yep. 
below. Hey, what's up, buddy? There we go. So once we increase the stair, uh, you know, the heat inside the sauna, these two guys are going to run away from here. So let's wait for these guys. Because Yuki will actually come over here to, you know, have a nice time in the sauna. But since there are like two guys over here, she won't be coming. She she actually turns back and get the hell gets the hell out of here. So now that we have actually, you know. So now we gotta wait for uh, Yuki to come over here. Hopefully she goes to her room and then she comes back over here. So probably I'll just uh, wait here. All right. After a long wait, obviously you guys don't have to see that uh, Yuki is over here. So she's gonna come to the sauna and sit inside, and then I'll show you the magic. Make sure we stand over here so that we don't. She doesn't, you know, recognize us. Now she will go inside. Yeah, this the bodyguard actually goes away. Just block the door. Uh, open this door. Are, are you insane? Let me out right now. Let me out. <gasps> no. A GG, guys. That's, That's it. Down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. I wish. Now. I have two lessons booked, but I just got informed that I have. Let's get back to the toilet and uh, change uh, to my attire. Should be here somewhere, right? Yeah, there is. It was a bit rusty, but uh, that's fine. Of course, there are like uh, many ways where you could do this mission, and uh, this is uh, one of one of one way I found it out. <laughs> uh, you guys won't believe that I actually spent a lot of hours finding, you know, uh, probably you know finding out the pattern. Anyway, let's hit this and exit. The final mission of Hitman One, guys. There goes forty-seven. How many did we subdue? I think two guys we subdued. No witnesses. Not sure how much uh, score or whatever uh, mission rating it's going to be. Total XP is just 4k. And... Ha! Silent Assassin. Just 17 minutes guys, yes! Awesome. I think uh, we've done 6, 7 episodes and this is the first uh, Silent Assassin mission. That's probably because I played it through and uh, did it. Well, I hope you guys will like it, right? So that's why I did this. Anyway, that was a new take on me, from me. Get something opened up. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. 
There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment but he's gone now ah well if you believe the questions died with him we have nothing further to discuss if not as i said i think we could help each other partners then Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. Well, there you go, guys. The end of Hitman 1. That was pretty good, right? So, the Night Call is actually Hitman 2. So, obviously, we won't be able to play it. Yep. Can I purchase it? I'll make sure that uh, I'll purchase it. Uh, we'll get the pass and uh, we'll continue with the mission. Since uh, this is Providence, right? So, Providence is actually, you know... Ah, it's very nice <laughs> alright guys with that being said the final mission Cytus Inversus has been done our first silent assassin mission rating in this game thanks for sticking around and watching this video guys and uh, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you guys are watching it and not subscribed yet and uh, share my channel to your friends who are into gaming with that being said I will see you guys in the next video take care guys 47 out Horizon will be coming soon. Peace out.